When I was a student, the first conference that I went to was the annual meeting of the Optical Society of America, which is now FIL. Right? I came to the conference, I saw all this really, really remarkably cool and complex optical science going on. I just couldn't contain myself to try. I went to talk after talk after talk to, to, to try and absorb it all. And I think students that come to this conference, that's the experience that they have. Not only that, they get to interact with other students. That's very, very important. They can talk to their peers. And they get to interact with luminaries in the field. I mean, the people that are really, really at the top of their field, the students can go up and approach them and talk to them and ask them questions. And, and the, 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 these people respond, I know. When I was a student, I did this. And I was really amazed that these great scientists were talking to me. There are a couple of young professional events that I'd like to highlight that I think will be really interesting to, to people who attend FIO. The first is the uh, VIP networking event where young professionals can come and actually talk to OSA corporate members to get a little bit of idea about what it's like to work in industry and they can network with them and that's actually something that's very important for young professionals they try, as they try and build their you know, network. The second one, which is new this year, is the Entrepreneurial International Network, and this is really quite exciting. If you're start, if you're coming to FIO, you might be thinking about starting your own business. All right, these are people who have started businesses before. There's going to be an intellectual property lawyer that knows about things and starting their own business. So it's a real opportunity to learn from experts, people who have done it before, how you might take your skills as an optical scientist and use it to start a business. This is, of course, one of the primary venues where you can meet and talk with some of the leaders in, within the field of optics. But also, OSA is looking to its own future, and that means that the society wants to encourage and nurture people entering the field of optics. So there are a lot of uh, programs designed for students and young professionals in optics. There's the very rewarding Minorities and Women in OSA Evening Tea, which features a talk by outstanding researchers in optics. And one thing that I think is very important, especially in these days of limited public resources, is a workshop for young professionals on communicating science. We must get the idea out about what science is and why the conduct of science is definitely in the public interest.